All right, so basically we have mini band glute walks here. Rose says to stay down, keep your toes square. This is just a nice, easy primer warm up exercise. It's kind of get her engaged and get those glutes working and then legs working in general. All right, you're gonna hit this sled. Now, you always wanna make sure the form is of high quality. You don't have to do a lot of this. You keep that core engaged, so you have to have a quality plank position. And then Rose is driving through those legs. A strength component here. So the sled's one of those favorites and won't add any sort of unnecessary bulk. All right, so the setup, Rose wants to make sure she has a good base, slight bend in those knees, similar to how we have with the band making a wave up and down with the rope. So that heart rate's gonna be up, but make sure that posture is good. But conditioning, especially for anybody that wants to get in very good shape, that resting heart rate needs to be of high quality. Because at the end of the day, a high quality resting heart rate will make everything easier. For med ball slams, basically, it's an ability for her to work her core, because we just want to get the core involved in everything, because we don't want to do excessive isolation and exercises. Then integrate other full body patterns, so we're able to get more bang for our buck. I like to make sure just increase their athleticism overall, so their body moves better, so that when they're working out by themselves, everything will do what it should. So basically, we're gonna have two aspects here. Rose comes down control, basically a step off, sticks that landing so she can absorb the force, and then create it again quick. Jumping is often overlooked for the benefits it can have in the body. So she has to absorb force and then be able to create it quick as she looks to explode through the ground and then up. Jump rope. So jump rope, easy, simple tool that you have around the crib or at the gym. We use this in various different ways. So when we're doing this for conditioning, uh, do this in between rounds, in between sets of either strength or band work, things of that nature, just to keep her moving. So if you're out there and just want to get better, want to get fitter, and just want to get, do something that's not too overwhelming, the jump rope's really the way it is. Okay, so common misconception oftentimes is that weights will bulk you up, but there's a huge difference between strength and muscle building. So oftentimes when you're going for aesthetics-based goals, you have to stay strong because that helps with structural insurance, basically, like injury prevention. Oftentimes you could go harder in conditioning drills and more of those isolation drills. Want to work foundational movement patterns. So think about that when you're doing your strength work. And then when you go into the more of the dynamic motions, uh, hopefully your body will be ready to deal with it. So for this, I like to work a few different things. All these moves should flow into each other to make the overall movement high quality. So the arm is long, so the abs stay engaged. And when she steps through, that makes sure she's stepping uh, controlled and not arching her back through the movement. So strong drive up, stepping back controlled, bending that arm, pivot off that foot, trying to make sure she doesn't bend left to right uh, when she hits this pressing action. So that one's one of my favorites, a nice little compound move there. Depending upon the intensity levels that we could go, whether it's super hard, moderate, or easy, it can serve from anything technically as a recovery workout to more something as higher intensity. Think about a bike or conditioning as, you know, doing some sprints sometimes, doing some lower intensity, steady state. But we use a lot of different ways to maximize results. Strong 10 seconds, push, 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 push. Here we go, come on, come on. Five, good, four, three, two, and one. Out of way.